The Wisconsin Badgers wrap up a five-game homestand this weekend with a pair against Ohio State, a rematch of the season-opening series in Columbus where the Badgers almost pull off a series split. Meanwhile, while the Badger coaching staff is thinking about the Buckeyes, they're also looking ahead to the future. We'll hear from head coach Tony Granato coming up. I'm Brian Posick, and this is the Badger Hockey Digest. You'll hear things like, you're gonna need to see a specialist. That what you have is serious, like, really serious. And then you meet them, your medical team. With research and clinical trials and new treatments. With better procedures that lead to better results. Then it hits you, you're gonna be okay. UW Health, remarkable medicine, remarkable care. Dear Winter, we're coming. Our squad of vehicles with all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive is ready to take you on. Safety's the name of our game. Bundle up. Toyota. Get 3.99% APR for 48 months on a new Toyota Corolla, Camry, RAV4, Highlander, or Tacoma. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Well, last Friday night when the U.S. Under-18 team was here, we saw two future Badgers, defenseman Brady Cleveland and Zach Schultz. You had a pretty good look at them from the Badgers bench. What did you think of those two young men playing in the Kohl Center for the first time? Yeah, it, it's exciting anytime guys get close to being uh, in your program that you've been tracking for a couple of years. And obviously, uh, Brady's a uh, Wisconsin native up uh, from uh, Eau Claire. Wausau. Wausau, Wausau sorry. Right. I yep. get all those places up there. <laughs> from Wausau. But, but he's uh, a big, strong, tough, and you can see the physicality in that game. He didn't back down. He didn't back down, and then mm. we saw him uh, just uh, last night in the in the BioSteel game, and again, real strong performance. So he's a uh, he's a good skating, big defenseman. He moves along the ice really well and gets around. So he's, he's going to be an exciting player for us. And then Zach, on the other hand, just smooth skating, uh, does a great job of defending. Uh, simple play, you know, gets the puck up to the forwards, but real defensive conscious player uh, that uh, looks really, really good. He's had good performances all year as well. Yeah, you mentioned the BioSteel All-America game in Plymouth on Monday. There were also two other future Badgers that played, a defenseman, Joe Palatichuk, who's currently with the Fargo Force in the USHL, and forward William Whitelaw uh, with the Youngstown Phantoms, and you got a chance to see I them did. too. It's exciting because, you know, as you watch these kids develop, you just anticipate and you kind of picture them in your lineup. and. And both the guys you just mentioned uh, had really strong performances as well. Joe, uh, good two-way defenseman. You know, he was a shutdown type of D mentality, but he's got offense with it. He gets a couple points in the game. Uh, joined the play at the right time, but always conscious of, of understanding that, hey, my job is to keep the puck out of my net. So, uh, And then William, dynamic offensive player, really exciting, a smaller player. Um, Cole Caulfield is his idol. He, mm. He's going to probably end up wearing number eight here. <laughs> uh, but just a, a hardworking uh, kid that uh, is going to be a, a big part of our program in the years to come. Yeah, future is bright. And you've got some good freshmen on this year's club, including Charlie Stramel, who came back from Nova Scotia with a bronze medal from the World Junior Championship. Let's take two minutes with Charlie Stramel. Well, Charlie, congratulations. You come back from the World Junior Championship with a bronze medal. It was your second tour of duty with USA Hockey at the World Junior Championship. What was the experience like in Nova Scotia? Yeah, it was awesome. You know, obviously, we didn't get the end goal of um, taking down that gold medal, but to whenever you medal for your country, it's always an honor. So it was a great experience playing with some great players and uh, gained some confidence for sure. Definitely looking at definitely to bring that to the team for the rest of the season. So. Yeah, you played a different role with USA Hockey than you did here. Explain mm -hmm. that for us. Yeah, for sure. So it's more of a, a PK shutdown line type of guy. You know, it's definitely, I think of myself as a versatile player for sure. So it's definitely something that I haven't played in a while, but it was nice to get those reps in a different spot in the lineup and uh, definitely learn from it. So. Yeah, and that's something you could carry over here too, for sure, adding to your game. You're, yeah. you're you're only 18 years old. You're mm -hmm. trying to add to your game, I suppose, almost every day, right? For sure, yeah, 100%. Trying to get better at all aspects of the game. So. Yeah. Your strengths now and where you need the most improvement. Yeah, I'd say my strengths now are my size, speed, and physicality. You know, um, using those to my best advantage, whether that's in the corner, in the open ice, whatever it may be. 
Um, I'd say weaknesses is something I could work on for sure. It's consistency, you know, showing up on a consistent basis every other night so or every single night. But, um, yeah, that's what I'd say for sure. Sure. You know, being the size you are, the speed you have, oftentimes when there are 18-year-olds that jump from lower levels to college hockey, it takes a little while to, to fit in. Did you feel like sure. you fit in right away? Um, it was a little bit of adjustment for sure, you know, um, hopping up this level. And uh, it's a lot more you know, mature, a lot older guys with a lot physically stronger and everything. So I'd say it took me a second to, you know, get used to the speed and the pace of everything. But at the end of the day, I feel really comfortable, you know, at this level now and along with my teammates. So, and I think, yeah, I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. So. Yeah. I know when you were playing at the World Juniors, you're playing yeah. in Canada with mm -hmm. rabid Canadian fans, Nova Scotia, but sure. there were 10,000 there. So as you're yeah. skating for USA, it's Team USA against everybody else in the <laughs> building. What was that like? Yeah, for sure. That was definitely a new experience, you know, having 10,000 fans, you know, cheer against you, no matter what team you're playing. But um, yeah, it was fun. It's definitely something you can take, you know, playing in wave arms in college hockey, you know, pack sold out stadiums like Penn State, Minnesota, kind of like that. So definitely something you can learn from. Yeah, I know your first college games were at Ohio State, mm -hmm. and now you play the Buckeyes at home. What do yeah. you remember about that series in Columbus, and what do you hope to accomplish this weekend? Yeah, for sure. I remember we showed some flashes in those series. I just remember we didn't play a full 60 minutes, which cost us. You know, we lost those two games, but I think Ohio State's a great team. You know, they've had a great season so far, so it's a huge opportunity for us this weekend to uh, take advantage and win some games for sure. You know, watching the World Junior Championship, Connor Bedard obviously stood out. Logan Cooley's pretty good too. Jimmy Snuggerud, so many players on that team with, you know, some real pizzazz. Charlie Stramel is a long drink of water, and uh, but he's got some skill, some power. Uh, he doesn't give in either, and you're just going to see him get better and better, I believe. Yeah, I thought his uh, World Junior team uh, uh, tournament was outstanding. Yeah. Just they played him in a little bit different role than we play him here. Uh, more of a checking, uh, penalty killing, uh, physical, defensive type of forward. But, but I thought he was outstanding. Uh, I thought leading into the tournament were his best three weekends. So, so he, we're looking for him to have a really big second half. But it was, it was great to see him. You know, they get whatever you want to call it against the Canadian team. It was an even game. That unfortunately, the couple of calls went against them uh, and kind of took them out of the game. But, but uh, the Americans. You know, these tournaments now, it's so fun to watch them continue to get better and better. And certainly that hockey was sensational. And for Charlie to go be a big part of a team that won a bronze, probably could have won a little bit better on, mm -hmm. on the type of team they had. But uh, a great representation of our program. All right, Tony, you get back to work this weekend against Ohio State. You faced him in the season opening series there. Had him on the ropes in game two that weekend, too. And uh, I would assume that you're ready to go because this is every weekend you're, you're getting yeah. after it, too. Yeah, I mean... We got every team in the Big Ten we played now, every team in the Big Ten we play again. So mm -hmm. we know them. Um, I think the best part of, of the first half of the year is we know ourselves. And it's either going to, we're either going to play the way uh, that it's going to take to help us have a chance to win every night, which we're capable of. Um, I think that's what our guys are starting to understand more and more about our team. Um, you know, we've played some really good hockey, we've played some inconsistent hockey, but the most important thing. You know, for us to finish strong, uh, if the guys have had a great, you know, attitude and spirit about through the whole thing, you know, the, the practices have been great, and this mm -hmm. is the start of our second half, so it's uh, it's a big weekend for us. Obviously, Ohio State coming off a split at Michigan, they're playing really well. All right, good luck. Thanks. Thanks, Brian. Sure, that's Badgers head coach Tony Granado, Wisconsin and Ohio State, Friday and Saturday night at the Kohl Center. Both games start at 7 o'clock on Valley Sports Wisconsin and the Badgers Sports Network. For Stephanie Olson, Jay Williams, and Tony Granato, I'm Brian Posick. Thanks for watching the Badger Hockey Digest. This has been a presentation from Learfield.